hey my lovelies welcome back to my channel it's your girl mel and we are still in montego bay in this video so in this video we will learn all about preparing an entire pork leg and of course there was some other grilling and roasting going on so um besides the pork leg you will also be seeing some chicken and some bird and stuff like that so if you're interested in seeing how it was done then please keep on watching <laughs> Good. What we're doing here is that we're scoring, mm -hmm. so to so that you can get the skin to become more crackling, okay. and um, to actually help the process in the cooking, mm -hmm. we score it. You see, we're boring all these small holes, oh, yeah. but you can't go too deep. Mm -hmm. it can only be just a small little touch, mm -hmm. so that we can rub the salt in. So we have it at room temperature now, mm -hmm. which is great. What we use to do the seasoning. Pimento, otherwise known internationally as allspice. Probably one of the most important spices that comes out of the West Indies. Mm -hmm. um, it is actually very good for like any stomach issues. So for cooking with it, it's excellent. You can use it to bake. That's what they do when they make like spice buns. Yeah. <laughs> In North America, in North America, it is, um, in the past, it was one of the most important spices that was actually imported into Louisiana mm -hmm. because of the Haitian relationship to the Creole cooking. Mm -hmm. the, this, the pimento became very, very popular. Oh, okay. Interesting. And for a little quick history fact, Seville orange which is from Seville St. Anne's, which mm -hmm. is otherwise known to us as sour orange, mm -hmm. is one of the most important ingredients used to make uh, cognac, oh, called really? Grand Manier. Really? Yeah, out of France. That came from Jamaica, but because of the French relationship with Haiti, mm -hmm. they later started to cultivate it in Haiti. Oh. And it became one of the most um, cultivated plants in Haiti. The Seville orange. So we could basically create cognac here too. Um, unfortunately, you can't call it cognac unless it's from the region of cognac. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, the French, the French into their hospitality and gastronomical um, culinaries, mm -hmm. they registered a lot of their regions. So, oh, for okay, instance, okay. you can't call champagne. Yeah, 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 yeah. Champagne unless yeah, it's yeah. from the region of yeah. Champagne. Mm -hmm. Understood. It's protecting the industry. Yeah, yeah. So what we're doing here is we are going ahead and pounding out some of the fermenters here mm -hmm. so that we're able to use it in our mix, in a dry mix. Okay. Um, we didn't choose to marinate this overnight um, for the mere reason is that it's a wild, it has been like this has been living in the wild mm -hmm. and because it's living in the wild the type of vegetation and stuff that it would eat mm -hmm. would all automatically already make the meat has a certain particular um, texture to it already mm -hmm. so we didn't need to put any other marination on it what we want to do is to exactly taste the gaminess oh, of that okay. actual product yeah. um, by marinating overnight you will remove some of that mm -hmm. game taste mm -hmm. 
And can you truly say you're eating something wild? Yes. <laughs> True that. All right. David had some really nice mixture that was already pre-made here. Um, I think he said he, what he did was that he blended a couple of different yeah, seasonings. Yeah, onions, scallions, onions and scallions, sweet pepper, right, and garlic. Everybody, right. You have to be very generous because as it cooks along, you're going to probably file a few pieces. A few of it fall off here and there. So we just want to pat that in. Allow it to sit on. You can see we pretty much got it into everywhere that we possibly can. Next step we're going to move along to is go ahead and salt the outside. Wow, we're making sure this is going to be nice. And while we're salting this, we have to leave it out at room temperature to allow the salt to actually slowly get work its way in and will stick through the moisture. This is one of the most important part in doing something like this little things. The good thing is that it looks like a lot of salt, but in the end, it really isn't. Get a little on this side. going to do is allow this to sit and actually come a little more in the temperature and then we will transfer it to the grill. Wow. Starting to get a little coloring going on there. Mm -hmm. And it's sizzling. Yeah. All right. Nice. Temperature building up nice in it, Raman. Smoke blowing your way. How you smelling? Pretty good. Pretty good, guys. Fabulous, man. So, the amount of smoke you're getting over there, you're not going to want no pork. Man, look at this, man. Mm. Look at this, man. 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 Nice, nice, sweating. Nice, Danny, nice, Danny. Sweating, nice. Um, one of the things that we want to actually look for on it as it goes along is you want to look to see where it's sweating. That, what that tells you is that the heat is actually being equally distributed within. So you can see on the top here, it's starting to get a little caramelized on the top, which is excellent. Go ahead and let that sit a little longer. Oh, how much longer this will take? No, oh, it's going to take about two, two and a half hours. Yeah. Normally, if I was doing it in a smoker, it'd probably take like about maybe four hours. Mm -hmm. But on a direct heat, yeah. it's a lot quicker. Yeah. But what happens though, so that it actually doesn't, you don't burn it, you have to keep turning it yeah, of course. very often. Of course. Yeah. So what we're doing right now is allowing the alcohol to infuse with the marination seasoning so it actually makes it penetrates the meat a lot easier. It smells interesting Yeah, oh it does, really? Wow, nice, nice, nice. So we're going to get it nice and... And the heat is nice, you can see the smoke. Oh, oh, you figured out. I had in Canada working in a restaurant, was in an Italian restaurant. Okay. <laughs> so I started learning a lot about Italian herbs. And I found that Italian herbs and Jamaican cooking actually go very well together. 
because the Italians like a lot of naturally grown herbs like ourselves. They like uh, basils, oregano, tarragons. Um, though we don't use those a lot, but we use other fresh herbs such as thyme. Uh, we like wild thyme. Uh, we put a lot of scallions, onions, which in the North American hospitality cooking, you don't find a lot of those natural seasons because they like to use a lot of dry herbs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, if you live in a in a place where you can grow them, of course you have to. Have no, that's true. Ones, yeah, because right? if you you know, we are lucky enough to have the opportunity to grow them. Of course, yes, and this is what makes our cooking so unique to the world, is that. Jamaica over a period of time had so many cultural different individuals yeah. that has migrated to Jamaica and one thing you have to say for the Jamaican people I think what makes us so lovable is our fact that we're willing to try so many new cultural things a Jamaican wow, my a J experience was different though really I am here since 1983 and at first when I was here uh -huh. I realized that Jamaican we don't know that, mean, I'm good, you know. <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah. I had the very, very first pizza place. In the they oh, didn't wow. even know about pizza at that time. And, and only people who had traveled uh -huh. and tourists right. come to my place and they knew what was going right. on. If a Jamaican that never left the island at that point in time came in, uh -huh. they would look on my pizza. That can eat. You know, yeah. <laughs> you know how I overcame them with that concept when I came back to Jamaica? I ran into that same um, relationship that took place with food and our cultural norms. Because you'll go to know a vegetarian restaurant, but when you entered, this, it's the vegetation dish basically consists of cabbage, mm -hmm. carrots, you know, the basic. Without anything. Um, yeah. And you know, you say, hey, where's the broccoli or the right, cauliflower? Right, and they say, well, right. I don't really eat that. But what I found is that if you were able to infuse the food with something oh, yeah. that they Once were familiar they with, like for it. instance, I noticed here in Jamaica, Pizza Hut and other pizza entities, they do a jerk pizza. Mm, of course. So well, what ended up pizza. happening is that when they hear the name jerk on it, they say, oh yeah, yeah well, I know a jerk. Exactly. That's all that matters. <laughs> and they will have it. But if you said something like, uh, you know, oh, I'm going to do it with pepperoni. What? Pepperoni. That's our main seller. <laughs> Though. I have a pizza place in Port Antonio, right? right you still now. have it now? Uh, at a different location, yes. I would right. love to come visit. Yeah, and we have pepperonis, our best seller. Really? Yes, well, you know, YouTube and social media has changed a lot oh, yeah. of that. Oh, yeah, basically. I and mean, people here even try mushroom nowadays. Yes. Olives. Yes. Like 20 years ago, because, that you know, would be impossible. What ended up happening during the pandemic, when, peop when persons were locked in during the pandemic mm. period, it opened their minds to investigate. They didn't have anywhere to go, so YouTube became their friend. And a lot of people who are foodies started looking at a lot of YouTube channels. And, yeah, you know, yeah, sounds good. Yeah, you know, yeah. Boom shot, I love that. Yeah, I love that, I love that, you know. And that's the good thing about our island, is that, you know, having people come from different cultures. Over the years, we're going to be such a different country. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. You know, well, it has you can see. Well, it has changed significantly already. Yeah. But, uh, really, yeah. The I transition mean, has I, already started, oh, yeah, you know? I've seen that. Yeah. Definitely. You know, I mean, it's it's like when you're going to take someone out on a date now, you don't go to KFC now, you know? It's like, <laughs> hey, would you like to go to a nice restaurant, you know? <laughs> and the restaurants have fancy names oh, Summer yeah. House, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> House Boat. We some, uh, in, in Runaway Bay at a place. Escargo. No, no, no. Um, it was a smaller place, and they ch apparently they change the menu every day. And the day we were there, we didn't eat there. Mm -hmm. I think we didn't have the time. But that day was Italian and French. Nice. And it looked like uh, the next day it would be something else. Influence. So, Lovely. So... Sorry, let me just go ahead and check this here. Sure, of course. That looked good, eh? Thank you, sir. Yeah, 
So guys, cooking are going around there, so no, no fun for a long time. <laughs> there is going to be on the grill for some more time. He says it's going to take about two, two and a half hours. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to get some water to drink. And then maybe I'll be jumping in the pool later on. Not sure yet, but we shall see. Place where the bread fruit is. Because you didn't make a chicken yesterday too? Hmm? You didn't make a chicken yesterday too? Yes. It was so nice. Thank you. Was the, for me, it was the yeah, best man. tasting thing there. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, man. <laughs> Appreciate that. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Take a breast piece here. You can come out soon. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're proud of your masterpiece, man. Yeah, man, it's going to burn off. The uh, hair is going to burn off? Yes. Uh, okay. Because as it goes along, it's going to get hotter. Mm -hmm. But you don't want to burn it. You don't want to have burn. Yeah, you yeah. Keep turning. Mm -hmm. So what they are cooking without burning, right? so you get brown. We don't want black. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, brown. brown meat, exactly. <laughs> Certainly, I run the place. What you put down there, Ryan? Birds, birds, man. What kind of birds? Mostly Paloma and White Wing. I nice. have a couple of ball pit, oh, but I mostly love, Paloma and White Wing. The small white ones. Wing and the nice ones. Oh, I love mm -hmm. that, man. Tender and nice. Don't get me, no, I love ball pit too. And but these little ones, no, sweet these bad. little ones are beautiful, man. In a smoker, tender. Crunchy to the bone. So those big ones are ducks. Ducks? Yes, they're the ducks. Oh. Okay. I need to take a picture of that myself. That grill looks nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They lay down perfectly. Yes. And this one's still going. Oh, we're still out of here. When you do pork, you gotta do it a little bit of love. Oh. Listen to the name, pork. <laughs> Wild pork. <laughs> well, on a serious note, if you notice what you're seeing here is the level of the smoke that is coming from the logwood. 
-hmm. Now, what you're gonna find is that later on when we cut this piece of meat, you're gonna see yeah, rings, here. different levels of smoke red. And what, anywhere you see those levels of red tells you the depth of the smoke that actually was infused within the meat. Mm, okay. And therefore, the process that we're doing right now with the log wood inside and a slow process, this is something you do with your friends. This is something you do for your friends. No one is in a hurry to go home. Yeah. We're here. We're being through a lot. Why not enjoy something that we all truly enjoy? Mm -hmm. Food. Yes. And to our good friend David, we like to say thank you for keeping us lock and loaded. <laughs>we've been waiting for some time haven't we that we have <laughs> the good thing about doing something with friends is doing it with time it's never about rush however it is now time what we have here is the wild boar that was brought down a few days ago um, in the earlier we saw how we season it um, the process took some time it's, it's a little longer than actually we would have really desired however when you're doing something like this it's done with love it's done with care it's something for friends and my friends are in hurry to go home so let's get into carving some nice cuts all right as you can see it's an easy slice through that we can take what you're going to find you're going to find rings of smoke as you go through but because the outer layer is going to be caramelized because as it the seasonings and the different herbs that you use and the different sweetness that could meet you're going to find what takes place is caramelization so the outside is going to have that but as you go through it you will notice look at that slice we're just going to go ahead and slice right through that There's something about the meat when you can cut it thinly. I have my friend here with me. I love for her to go ahead and give a try. We have different variations of the cut. The outer caramel, which is charred. We have the inner piece, which is more from the succulent side. So carry it, please go ahead, give it a try. I think she's going for the outer caramel. Looks juicy. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and take some other pieces off. Can you put more in it? <laughs> that sounds good to me. I can literally taste the juiciness, the texture. God, water, water. The texture is perfect. Um, yeah. Please, individuals, <laughs> don't let carry alone enjoy it. Come on over. Oh, finally, guys, you're going to have some. Yeah, man. I feel like sharing now. <laughs> yeah, please, come on in. It's really, really good. Hey, guys, so it's currently around 10.30 p.m. The pork leg just, just finished, like, literally just, just finished. Um, there was a lot of footage that I was not able to catch, you know, with some of the other stuff being done cooked and stuff because as soon as they got out like they were basically disappearing within seconds but the pork is finally finished i just came back for some foil paper so i'm going to put some on it so mommy can taste it because mommy has been tired so she went to bed already 
I'm going to get some but that pork leg literally was on the grill for at least seven to eight hours it's more than seven hours but I'm not sure if it catch the eight hours yet so can you imagine seven to eight hours so my lovelies um sadly i wasn't able to record mommy's reaction anymore but she did end up eating the pork for her breakfast the next morning and she was really really in love with it so it was all good and yeah this will be the end of the video guys so please remember to like share and subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye y'all